From Tampa Bay Streaming News Source, brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com, this is ABC Action News. Keep the umbrella nearby as we head into the weekend. Greg D on standby with your forecast. Good morning, I'm James Tully. Here are your ABC Action News headlines. A cheerleading coach off the job this morning accused of sexual activity with a teenage girl he met at a Brandon Gymnastics Center. Deputies say that Victor Valenti met his victim at Storm All-Star Cheerleading. Deputies say Valenti drove between Pinellas County and Hillsborough to meet the victim and engage in sexual activity. Staff members would not comment, but say they immediately fired Valenti after learning about those allegations. This morning we're learning 33 children are and three adults who got sick at a camp in Lake Placid and had to be hospitalized. We're learning this happened at the Cloverleaf 4-H camp. The health department is looking into it. Authorities do not know what made those kids so sick, but they do say none of their conditions are serious at this time. There will be a funeral tomorrow for the four children killed in a hostage standoff in Orlando. Last week, the children's mother called 911 saying that Gary Lindsay barricaded himself in an apartment with the kids. Police say Lindsay shot and killed the children before taking his own life. Officer Kevin Valencia, who was shot in the face at the beginning of the standoff, remains in critical condition. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers now on the verge of starting the season without their star quarterback. ESPN reporting the NFL plans to suspend Jameis Winston three games. A female Uber driver in Arizona accused Winston of inappropriately touching her after she picked him up from a party two years ago. ABC Action News is hosting a food drop off event today as part of our Food for Families campaign. You can drop off non perishable food from 6 in the morning until 6 at night at the Seacoast Bank on South McDill Avenue near Azeal Street. And if you stop by before 10, you can get free coffee and donuts. Here's a man who could appreciate that. Greg D with a look at your forecast. Funny you say that, James. I'll be there before 10 o'clock for free coffee and donuts. Hello, everybody. Uh, join us there at the Seacoast Bank. And as you're heading out there, dress light. It is going to be warm. Temperatures in the upper 70s very early, but then climbing quickly into the 80s. The heat index well above 90, even in the morning. There will be some showers and thunderstorms this afternoon, but the coverage much less than yesterday. Uh, we'll check that out on the weather page at abcactionnews.com with your complete weekend forecast. James. All right, thank you, Greg. You can get all of your news updates all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download the free ABC Action News app. Have a great weekend. Don't they know they're supposed to use the crosswalk? Hey, you on your phone, put that down until you cross the street. Whoa, stop! Can't you see there are pedestrians crossing here? Ugh, I can't take it anymore. Drivers, put your phone down. Be alert. Watch for pedestrians, especially when approaching a crosswalk. Pedestrians, always use the crosswalk and push the button so I can help you cross safely. Alert today, alive tomorrow, because safety doesn't happen by accident.